Hello and welcome to another Electric World video featuring the latest news about EV World. This time, we would be discussing hot updates on Tesla's battery startup to build cheaper, cleaner batteries. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you get notified when we post more content just like this. Let's get started. Tesla switched to LFP cells for Megapack batteries, heralds a new era of energy storage. Tesla has moved to cobalt-free lithium iron phosphate batteries for its flagship energy storage product, the Megapack, according to Canaccord Genuity analyst Jed Dorsheimer. Such a move may seem insignificant, but the benefits provided by LFP batteries for the Megapack are important, so much so that it may very well spark an energy storage revolution of sorts. Tesla confirmed that the Megapack will use LFP cathode batteries, which are similar to the entry-level Made in China Model 3 Ys. This is notable because Tesla is ramping up their grid scale energy storage product without relying on an already limited supply of nickel based battery production capacity used in the 2170s, the analyst wrote. It took some time before deciding to use LFP batteries in its cars. LFP batteries are usually less expensive to manufacture and the fact that they do not use cobalt makes them one of the least contentious batteries on the market. LFP batteries, on the other hand, are less energy dense than the nickel manganese cobalt NMC, cells used in Tesla's flagship electric cars. This is one of the reasons why only a few vehicles, such as the Made in China Model 3 Standard Range Plus, have LFP batteries. After all, the car is designed for cost and practicality rather than performance. Nonetheless, this is not a problem with the Megapack since energy storage systems are not subjected to the same strains as the batteries used in Tesla's high-performance electric cars. Tesla's Megapack is the company's biggest battery storage product to date. The Megapack is one of the largest energy storage systems on the market, with a total energy capacity of 3 MWh per unit. Its architecture is designed for easy installation, and its shipping container-like shape allows it to be quickly scaled. Tesla claims that the Megapack takes up 40% less space and has 10 times fewer components than existing systems on the market. With LFP batteries, the Megapack's production costs could be reduced, and given Tesla's tendency to pass on savings to customers through price increases, the grid-scale battery could potentially become more competitive. A more economical Megapack will be a formidable product, making it much more affordable than less sustainable options. During Tesla's Q1 2021 earnings call, New Street Research analyst Pierre Ferragou asked about the company's energy market expectations. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, said that the company aims to reach comparable margins for its electric vehicles and energy products. He also noted that the company is working on lowering the Megapack's costs per MWH. We like to see similar margins in storage as we do in vehicles. However, it is important to remember that the car is more mature than the storage, so with the power wall, we're still at the margins. However, some extra work is needed for the Megapack to achieve good margins. We have a good runway for improving the Megapack's cost per megawatt hour, Musk said. Another huge news is about Tesla's cheaper, cleaner battery production. Elon Musk said that some of the savings would come from reinventing the dirty and complicated method of producing nickel metal cathodes when he stood on stage at Tesla's battery day in September and promised to have lithium ion battery costs. It's insanely complicated, he said at the case. Like digging a trench, filling it in, and digging the ditch again. 
Then we took a look at the whole supply chain and asked ourselves, how can we make this as simple as possible? A small Canadian battery startup, or at least its patent applications, seems to be the easiest way to get there. According to public records, two weeks before battery day, Tesla paid $3 for a variety of patent applications from Spring Power International, a small corporation headquartered just outside of Toronto. One of these applications details a creative method like that described on stage at Tesla's Fremont, California Battery Day by Drew Baglino, Tesla's Senior Vice President of Engineering. The buying of the patent application means that Tesla, without reference to spring power, had obtained the patent itself in January. Cathodes for electric vehicle batteries traditionally generate large volumes of contaminated water. For each tone of cathode content, generated up to 4,000 gallons containing ammonia, metal particles, and toxic chemicals. Spring Power recirculates the chemical solution creatively, reducing the need for costly water treatment. In addition to cutting operating costs by more than 75%, the presentation of Baglino also demonstrated a process that reuses water and does not generate any wastewater. He said, we can also use this process to directly consume the metal powder coming from recycled electric vehicles and grid storage batteries. It seems probable now that Tesla has gained more than the intellectual property of spring power. A week before battery day, a single holding page replaced Spring Power International's website, and some scientists from Spring Power have since updated their LinkedIn profiles to show that they work at Tesla. Spring Power International CEO Michael Wang, whose LinkedIn page now includes a lot of posts from staffers, including Baglino, did not respond to a request for comment, and calls to the company switchboard went unanswered. A senior Spring Power International executive contacted by phone would not confirm nor reject Tesla's deal and referred TechCrunch to Tesla's public relations staff. Spring Power International was established in March 2010 as a research arm for its Spring Power subsidiary in Shenzhen, in part by Chinese battery company High Power International. However, High Power left Spring Power International after just six months, writing off a $100,000 investment because the inventions were too far from commercialization. James Sprola, a Canadian government-funded program's entrepreneur-in-residence, stepped in to advise the young organization. In 2018, he assisted it in obtaining several minor grants and eventually a 3.4 million Canadian dollar sustainable technology award. According to TechCrunch, he has not talked to anyone at Spring Power International since late 2020. There is no doubt that it is a team of smart people, Sprola said. Technology like Spring Powers has enormous upside for a reduced environmental footprint and being part of a bigger company makes scaling much faster and easier. If Spring Power International is purchased by Tesla, it will join just a dozen or so others, including another Canadian battery company, Hybar, which was acquired in similar stealth in 2019. Elon Musk has long sought north of the border for lithium ion battery expertise. Tesla entered into a five-year exclusive relationship with Jeff Don, a leading battery expert and professor at Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia in 2015. Don's name appears on many recent Tesla battery patents, and Tesla renewed Don's contract for another five years in January. Musk has been working for years to put battery production in-house and reduce Tesla's dependence on current suppliers, Panasonic, LG Chem, and CATL. Now that we have this process, we will begin constructing our cathode plant in North America, Baglino said on battery day. Musk added, that the combined benefits of Tesla's latest battery technology could produce a $25,000 vehicle 
but warned against expecting too much too soon. It will probably take us a year to 18 months to start realizing these advantages, and three years or so to completely realize them. Perhaps by then, Spring Power International's position will be clearer. That was all for today and the latest news we knew about Tesla, and thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla's next projects and Elon Musk or electric vehicles, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.